my opinion is that it's it won't happen until the buyers insist on it. Um, the the uh, what we do it's it's quality assurance on the AV system. It's it's not easy. You know, it's simple. It's basically, you know, measure twice, cut once. But it's not easy. It's simple, but not easy. And everyone says, oh, yeah, we do it on all our systems until they, you see that they have a punch list that goes on for two months. So it, everybody has the right intentions, and then life gets in the way. So it's... Uh, if they feel that they can um, get uh, paid uh, for doing mediocre work, they will. Only when the buyer insists on it. And we modeled this, um, Not we, we didn't go to the AV industry for the solution. We looked at the automotive, the aerospace, and the telecommunications. And that's what they did. And they came, they all based it on ISO 9000 which is too general for the most part. You can make cement life jackets and be ISO 9000 certified. So you have to have metrics. And so we created the metrics that applies to the AV industry. And uh, when you do that, now I have quality management and I have metrics to, uh, uh, to adhere to it. So it's, it, it's um, only in those other industries, only when they insisted on their vendors having these certifications uh, did they actually get uh, the quality improvements? And now you 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 don't have to hire a mechanic now to uh, check out a car coming off of the the showroom floor anymore. But back in the '80s, uh, yeah, you had lemon laws, you had all those uh, things because the quality simply wasn't there before they adopted the standards. Mm -hmm.